cube and cube roots. Introduction to Cube Numbers You've learned that a cube is a name of a geometrical figure. What is a cube? A cube is a solid figure which has all its sides equal. Then what are cube numbers? Let us learn about them now. Here we have some cubes of side length 1 cm. That means length is equal to 1 cm, breadth is equal to 1 cm, and height is equal to 1 cm. Using how many such cubes can we make a cube of side length 2 cm? The cube should have length equal to 2 cm, breadth equal to 2 cm, and height equal to 2 cm. Let us join the cubes now. Now we can see by joining 8 cubes we can make the required cube. Observe that for the cube of side 2 cm, length into breadth into height is equal to 2 into 2 into 2. That is, we multiply 2 by itself 3 times to get 8. In the same way, how many cubes are needed to make another bigger cube of side length 3 cm? That means the cube should have length equal to 3 cm, breadth equal to 3 cm, and height equal to 3 cm. Look at the cube we have here. It is having 9 cubes in each of the layers and there are 3 such layers. So we need 27 cubes. Observe that for this cube, length into breadth into height is equal to 3 into 3 into 3, that is equal to 27. Thus, you can also find the number of unit cubes required to make a cube of side 3 cm by multiplying 3 by itself 3 times to get 27. 1 can be obtained by multiplying 1 by itself 3 times. Observe that 8 is obtained when 2 is multiplied by itself 3 times. Similarly, 27 is obtained when 3 is multiplied by itself 3 times. Such numbers which are obtained when a number is multiplied by itself 3 times are known as cube numbers. The cube numbers are also known as perfect cubes. As you can see, 8 and 27 are both cube numbers or we can say perfect cubes. So we can write 8 as 2 cube and 27 can be written as 3 cube. Here we have a list of first 20 natural numbers and they are cubes. There is a story about one of the greatest Indian mathematicians S. Ramanujan and another famous mathematician G. H. Hardy. This story is related to one cube number. Did you know that Professor G. H. Hardy, a famous mathematician, called 1729 a dull number? Once Hardy went to see a fellow Indian mathematician Ramanujan in hospital in a taxi numbered 1729. He noticed the number and mentioned to Ramanujan that it's a dull number. Ramanujan quickly pointed out that 1729 was indeed interesting. He said it is the smallest number that can be expressed as a sum of two cubes in two different ways 
as shown here. Therefore, 1729 is known as Hardy Ramanujan number. Properties of cubes. Let us now see some properties of cube numbers. Look at the cubes of odd numbers. The cubes of odd numbers are odd. And what can we say about the cubes of even numbers? The cubes of even numbers are even. Observe that the cubes of the numbers ending in 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 end with the same digits. Let's see some more interesting properties of cube numbers. Observe the two numbers ending with 2. Its cube ends with the digit 8. And the cube of a number ending with the digit 8 ends with the digit 2. Similarly, if a number ends with the digit 3, its cube ends with the digit 7. And the cube of a number ending with the digit 7 ends with the digit 3. How many cube numbers are there from 1 to 1000? There are only 10 cube numbers from 1 to 1000. And there are only 4 cube numbers in the first 100 natural numbers. Patterns formed by cubes. You have seen different patterns formed by square numbers. In the same way, cube numbers also have some beautiful patterns. Let's see them now. Observe the patterns given here. The first row consists of the first odd natural number. The second row consists of the sum of the next two odd natural numbers, which equals to the cube of the natural number 2. And look at the third row. The third row consists of the sum of the next three odd natural numbers, which equals to the cube of 3, and so on. Isn't it interesting? And now, using this pattern, we can express any cube number as the number of odd numbers. Let us now express 6 raised to the power 3 and 7 raised to the power 3 as the sum of odd numbers using this pattern. 6 cube can be written as the sum of the 6 odd numbers starting from 31 as shown here. And similarly, 7 cube is the cube of the 7 odd numbers starting from 43. Now observe the following pattern. In this pattern, the difference between two consecutive cube numbers is equal to 1 added to thrice the product of the numbers. Using this pattern, let us write 5 raised to the power 3 minus 4 raised to the power 3. It will be equal to 1 added to thrice the product of 5 and 4. Similarly, find the values of 7 raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power 3. It will be equal to 1 added to thrice the product of 7 and 6. You have learned all about prime factors and prime factorization of numbers. Let's now see a relation between prime factors of a number and prime factorization of its cube. Look at the pattern carefully. What is the relation between prime factors of a number and prime factorization of its cube. Observe that each prime factor of a number appears three times in the prime factorization of its cube. Look at prime factorization of 4 and 4 cube. Here we can see 
prime factor of 4 appears 3 times in the prime factorization of 4 cube. And we can see this for all the examples given here. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The cube of a number is obtained by multiplying it with itself three times. Cube numbers are also known as perfect cubes. Cubes of even numbers are even and cubes for odd numbers are odd. The cubes of the numbers ending in 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 end with the same digit. Each prime factor of a number appears three times in the prime factorization